Beldre Climate Cube. Um, always interested in one of these. Just want to see how effective and uh, how uh, how much heat they can actually give out and uh, what their power consumption is. Obviously, we can see the cons consumption here, but uh, what's it like in reality? Let's have a look. Haven't opened it yet. Let's see what you get. I just expect a little bit of heater. Looks cool from the design. Oh, is that what I mean? It's not good for the environment, is it? Uh, can I open this without cutting it? Oh dear. That's it, out of the bag. Looks like a TV. And the behind, doesn't it? Stop movement, I think, from the, the slats. Stops the slats moving up and down. So it is, yeah, it's just uh, the, other side. the heating element of the fan. Yeah, but it should be on the other side. Oh, is it this way yeah, around, does, isn't yeah. it? With a nice little handle tape to stop the controls moving around. Here's the plug. Uh, I'll have to use an extension to test it. I can't test it here, I haven't got a socket. Yeah. Looks nice though, it's a nice nice cool design now. though. Nice and smooth. Yeah, compact. Yeah, I like the fact it's got a nice little handle, because if it gets warm, mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got, you know, the safety of the handle, don't you? Yeah. You can direct the heat. Should we see how good it is in, in use? Yeah, why not? I need, I need a can, ah, one here. Come. Let's see. Yeah. Forget about those things. So I imagine that's the power. That's the power. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Uh, stop the video. <laughs> stop the fucking video. <laughs> Shit. Ah. Uh, uh, I eat. I eat. Maybe I should have checked the uh, instructions. It'd probably be a good video, this after all. You freak, no? <laughs> we got one there. So it's on two there. That's so that'll probably be the blower. So we need to sort the temperature out. It says it's at 35 degrees there. Yeah, this is heat obviously cold that way, warm that way, so that's in the middle. So if we want warm, we go that way. And uh, it might take a few minutes for it to you can see there now. And you know what I'm gonna do? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Mm. If that was near under your desk or near where you're uh, working, oh, it's quite warm. Let's go and check the power outage, uh, the power uh, consumption. I'm expecting it to be around 500 watts. So here's our watt counter yeah. here. So I'll turn it on. Is that really using just four watts? No, 400 watts, 850 watts. In the beginning. So it's rated for 500 watts. And it looks like it's settling down to about that. So I can imagine what you'd need to do. It would be good if it was automatic and programmable, but you could probably have it on, say, 20 minutes, depending on the size of the room, mm -hmm. and then turn it down a little bit, and I'll bet it'll use less watts. So if you turn it down to the middle, see, hardly uses anything because the... Uh, the actual fan is only consuming three watts, but the heater start turning up, so I've turned it half between them. And as soon as we get a bit of heat, is it on a thermostat or something? Should get some warmth there. I wonder what that does. Just a random button. I don't know what that does. But yeah, if I get this to the heat, so you must have to turn it all away. I thought it would be half. But it's just there, so yeah. So turn it to heat. It's actually pulling 700 at the moment. It's going down. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, about it's 500 going down. watts. Mm -hmm. So 
in this country that's going to be consuming 17 pence worth of electric an hour mm. at 500 watts I don't know what it is in other countries per kilowatt so 17 pence but obviously you wouldn't have it on all the time I think that's pretty good okay thank you no problem uh, looking at the um, the Beldre again uh, the Beldre cube um, might be interested to know that uh, on two on the on the highest setting number two there it use, it's using about 500 watts an hour but it doesn't use 500 watts constant it'll cycle on and off during that time so it won't be 500 straight but if you knock it down to one if your rooms uh, if, you know if you just got a little cold spot uh, if you knock it down to one you can see uh, it's only a reduction of 80 watts so it's not that great a difference between two and one so two is using about 500 watts 480 490 watts one it always uses it always spikes when it first starts up but it'll settle down to around 500 thereabouts but you'd expect one I would expect it to be around 200 300 watts mm -hmm. but that might not be enough to generate the heat so pressing that onto one yeah I'm a bit surprised that it's only a drop of around 80 watts so if you can you can feel the heat it's not been driven as as hard I think you may as well just leave it on too because the difference is it's just not that great mm. if it was to drop around 300 watts I'd be quite happy about it you know from a economy standpoint it's still going down yeah but I think it'll look like it's uh, flattening let see it's stopping there around 419 But it'll cycle. It'll 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 not stay like that for the for the full hour. It, it'll turn off and on. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll all auto cut off as well. If you did this accidentally, it will turn itself off when it gets overheated. But I'm not going to do it because well, I have to wait. But it, if you block it, it's got things like auto cut off if it overheats. Mm. That's it. Thank you. More next time. Thank you. <laughs>